So today we're here to do a wee demo. Um, we're going to do like an Italian style chicken with a little pasta vegetable sauce. So nice and healthy, sort of, um, as much as we can. And uh, the, the, the sauce itself and the, and the pasta, we can use that as a vegetarian dish. So it's, a, it's multi, we can mess about with it a wee bit. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to start with the chicken. So these are chicken breasts. Um, we've taken the breasts off the, the actual chicken. Um, it, it, it's more economical doing it like that. Um, far more economical doing it like that. But if you can, maybe in a later demo we'll show you how to do that. But just for the sake of today, we'll use large chicken breasts. And what we're going to do with that large chicken breast is cut it in half lengthwise. So I'm cutting it out, I'm fanning it out almost, taking it right the way through. So I have two scallops, okay? And then what I do with those scallops is I would beat them out slightly, okay? So I've got a nice thin scallop and it's ready to go. Next stage, we'll take this to the side and we'll take our, what we call a panne, okay? So it's flour, egg and breadcrumb. And we always sort of work with you if you're right-handed, you work from left to right, okay? Don't know what that's like in the camera because it might be the other way, I don't know. But that's besides the point. So in the flour, a bit of salt and pepper. In the egg wash, we'll have some egg and a wee bit of milk, okay? And then the breadcrumb is just ordinary breadcrumb. So I'm using panko. You could use fresh breadcrumbs, like the ones you buy for out of, out of Sainsbury's or, or Tesco's. And it's just for stuffing. You could use them perfectly well. Or if you have a load of bread lying in the house, old heads are starting to go a wee bit stale. Fry them in the oven, dry them out, put them through the blender, make crumbs. Bob's your uncle, they'll last you about a week. Okay, handy to use with your tight container. Don't let things like that go to waste. So, in there bread comes some lemon zest, okay? So the lemon zest goes in there now. Don't worry, the lemon won't go to waste because you're having a wee gin. You can use the rest of the lemon in there. We don't need the thing. Parmesan cheese, only if you have it. It's not essential, okay? Only if you have it. So we'll get a wee bit of Parmesan in there. And then we're going to put a wee bit of oregano and basil in there. These are herbs you have lying about your cupboard. If you wanted to use mixed herbs, Herbs of Provence, or you can get like an Italian type herb, even better. Okay, I'll just put some of that in, not too strong, okay? And what we'll do is we'll mix these together so we get a nice cooking. Okay, that's all mixed up. So, what we'll do is, you can use your hands, I would wear a pair of gloves, but I'm going to use a fork for this today. I would take our chicken, okay, dip it into the flour, shake off the excess flour, into the breadcrumb, okay? Or into the, the egg wash, give it a nice coating in the egg wash, then into the breadcrumb and just shake that. Okay, turn it over, shake that. Okay, and we've got a nice coated piece of chicken. Okay, we'll do exactly the same with the other one. Flour. Now, you could do this in a multitude of things, but if you see any breadcrumb, this is the way you do it. Okay, yet again, always remember. If you use the breadcrumbs, keep them for the same thing. Keep the flour for the same thing. If you had chicken in this flour, you wouldn't want to be putting a bit of fish in there because it's going to cross-contaminate. And we want to keep it as safe as possible. Okay, and I don't want to swing and put a court case against me. Okay, so there we go. That's crumbed. Lovely job. So I normally do two breasts of chicken, so I have four pieces. So what I'm going to do now is a wee bit of oil. I'm going to stick these in the oven. I already have some in the oven that I prepared earlier. If you wished, you could pan fry them first and give them a nice golden colour, but not essential. Not essential. So we're going to put these in the oven. There we go, and let them take away. I'm going to get rid of this board over the side, and then we'll move on to this board, and I'll get these out of shot. Okay, so let's take those out of the way, and we'll move on to our next step. So, next step, vegetables. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to prep up our vegetables first. Now, half an onion is plenty. About three cloves of garlic, just need to slice it. Okay, I have pre-sliced already. Onion, so cut it down the way. Like so. Like so, I hate that. I never people aren't doing demos and can do this like so. But it's on myself. So down the way, and then you can't go across. But I was always taught, it's in layers anyway, so you don't really need to. And that's where most of the people cut their fingers. So why bother? Just take it straight away down. And it doesn't have to be that fine, because we are going to blend it. Gotta give the show away there, blend it. Okay, so that's that done. We're going to turn on one of our wee inductions here, and hope that it works. There we go, we've got the beep. Okay. Now select. Okay, so 
okay? That'll be a heat up easy, heat up very fast, okay? So we put the oil in there, okay? We'll get our onion in. Okay, and let that take away. And we get our garlic in there as well. Okay, so hand it up so far, is it? Really, really simple. So that's the side. Then we take our courgettes. Let it be cheap. You know what I mean? They don't cost that much. They're a good size, and we can get them in a good size. So two plenty for this. And what we want to do with these is just top seal. You know, get a bit of a rubbers and remember, compost out the back for the gardens. Get your herbs growing. And that's another thing too many of you are going to grow herbs or something. They will lose their punches of flavour. It's the same as a lemon. It's a wee punch of flavour. So if you were growing herbs, you can use me, Bring it, throw it into things, get a bit of you know, flavour in. So what we're going to do now is cut these into dice. And you take your time and don't cut your fingers. I don't want that now, will Okay, nice size guys, that says on the way. We're going to get our courgette in here. And I say we're going to use two here. So, as we go. And we're going to take this away. Now it's all coming together. Nice and handy. They don't have to be perfect. But I say most of them are going to blend it down. I say most of them. So, into there. Hey, Presto. That's our chopping. And our veg prepping all finished. So, I'll just get rid of these boards. We'll get rid of the mess here. Give ourselves a wee wipe down and concentrate on what we're doing here. So, garlic, onions, courgette, all in. And what we're doing is we're looking to soften that down a wee bit. So, we don't want to cook it too much, or we're going to use all the colour, use all the natural vitamins in it. So, what I'm going to do now. Take a little container. I'm going to take some of this out. Okay? And we're going to put that back in again to allow for texture. Okay? Because you don't want just a smooth, smooth sauce. So I'm taking some of that out, set that to the side for texture. Okay? Now, at this stage, I'm going to add some vegetable stock to it. So, all vegetarian. Okay, that sits on the way. So want to cook that down and let that work away. Okay, at this sort of stage, we're sort of halfway there. Uh, our chicken's ain't cooking, taken away there. It'll be almost ready soon. Our sauce is taken away. We'll have some of this out for texture and we'll have our pasta already pre-cooked. Now, yet again, you can buy those little sachets of pasta. I know we buy them in the house for the kids. Cause they're handy because there's only one of them I've eaten it and that's all I eat. But a big bag of pasta will cost you buttons. Get it cooked, cook in batches. Maybe you put it in the backpack bag or just put it in a ceiling bag, throw it in the freezer. It's ready to rock and roll. I'll save you an absolute fortune. Just hope I don't set off a smoke alarm here. It's a five or two such a thing. Okay, so that's taken away now. Okay, what I'm going to do, um, we can do this all in the one pan. Okay, now what I have here. Is a fancy blender, okay? You can use um, an ordinary sort of RoboCoop, like liquidizer type thing, a bar blender. What do we do your smoothies in, or what do we make your mojitos in at the weekend when you're having a good time? You can use uh, a stick blender that you can get in Tesco's for about five pounds, and when they're done, they're still right because that's it. You know, I mean, you've got your eggs out of them. Um, but this is a rather fancy blender, so uh, will it make a bit of noise? Okay, so just one. So what we're going to do now is they've started to soften down. It doesn't take too long. 
Remember, a courgette is a soft vegetable. Okay? So what we're going to do is take all this and straight in. Try not to spill too much of it. Okay? Look at this side, turn this off. Okay? That's all done. So this is where the magic happens. We check the lid on and we're going to get a wee bit noisy here. Okay, so when I turn that on, we're going to start off at a nice slow speed. And uh, take it away. And that will start to break all that down. And get up to high speed. Okay, it is a bit noisy, but it does a good job. So why is that taken away? Back in your pan. I'm going to put the courgette that we took out earlier, okay? Put in our pasta, so we really have to taste good. Okay, and I'll turn this back on again. And that's that bad one. Whoop. And that's that done. So we'll have our courgettes in there, our vegetable stock. Now, if you want to, you can use chicken stock, but then obviously not vegetarian, okay? So you could use chicken stock in there because we are doing a chicken, use a flavor. It doesn't really matter. Any sort of white stock. I'll just take that and leave that to the side. Yeah, take that off, take that away. There we go, and then we'll take this off, and you look at that sauce. Look at the color on that. You know, it's vibrant. It's full of flavour and full of vitamins. It's good for you. My, 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 me do something. And I haven't put butter anywhere near it, which is really unlike me. Sauce, straight in. Okay. Mix that through. And at this stage, all we're doing is bringing that back up to the heat. So now we have a nice vegetarian dish. There we go. Okay, I'll just move this out of the way. away there and we'll just let that come up to temperature and heat through but as you can see it's retained all its color it's vibrant there's no meat in it there's no butter in it you know it's a good healthy dish and it's filling and many people that I introduce this to are amazed at how much their kids actually like it um, because it is a great dish it was actually came from Australian chef um, Neil Perry years ago he was doing a um, healthy menu thing for Qantas Airlines, and this is one of the sort of dishes that he's come up with and we've adopted. Okay, so that's her ready to rock and roll. So what I'm going to do now is get it into some of the, uh, the serving dish here. Uh, just be careful. Turn it off and let the serving dish go for it. Um, so take my hammer to the molehill. So pass in. So you've got your saucer, you've got the texture there with the courgettes that you took out. And if you wanted to, there's your vegetarian dish. Okay, we're going to take it a wee step further. We're going to take our chicken from the oven. Okay. So as you can see, nice and golden, nice and crispy. Um, there's only oil on that, no butter. Cook all the way through. When you cut them that thin, in the oven about 175, it's going to take about 15 minutes to cook. But always check. If you have a temperature proof, all the better. But not a necessity, always check. There's nothing wrong with maybe cutting a wee bit of it just to make sure the middle's cooked and you're safe. Okay, next thing, chicken on top. And there you go. There's a hearty meal for dinner, lunch, breakfast if it's left over in your, you know what I mean? But it's really handy. How long does it take to make? Very little prep. Um, you can get your butcher even to do your, your chicken fillets for you. And get them sorted out so you only have to do bread them and if you wanted to take an even bigger shortcut you could buy the breaded frozen chicken scallops out of the supermarket and just use them you know if, if it works out cheaper or it, it's handier for you but you've still got all the health benefits um and, and all the goodness in the sauce and i say a good hearty meal that'll fill you up okay and that's me hopefully done for today and we'll get this out and hopefully you'll be trying that at home at some stage. Come to you very soon.